Hello anyone and everyone, I am Echo, and today we're exploring Amnesia the Dark Descent. Shut up, Agrippa, I swear to god. Uh, at the end of the last episode, I got kind of lost-ish because everything seems to be a dead end. In between that episode and starting up this one, I had a bit of a look around, mostly around this room, and I did notice this up here. Um which we can interact with, so... Oh, okay. It's just a door. Interesting. Okay. Can we... get up there and do anything with it? Oh my god, Agrippa, please. Okay. Probably need one of these to get up higher. A few of these, actually. But I believe you have more important things to take care of. <sighs> this undead German guy is really getting on my nerves. You should hurry, Daniel. Just no time for more that way. It, it, yeah, sure. <sighs> How many more do I think I'll need? You're good Probably just one. And I appreciate your compliment. But I believe you have more important things to take care of. There we go. Okay. Actually, shit, it's too close. No time for sitting around. Okay. Okay, and then on that. That works. Okay. Make a little staircase. But I believe you have more important things to take care of. Oh, are we just. Oh, okay. Oh, so we're fixing the machine by doing this. Cool. Anything else we can interact with up here? Nope. Okay, that's the... That gear seems to be the only thing I can do up here. Alright, so that's... Uh, those are all connected to pipes. And obviously gears means big machinery, so... Have these opened up now? No? No, that's, uh... Not sure what that did, then. I guess we'll... Go back where we were before... And... Check it out. Is who dead? think there's anything... Would there be anything in the pipes? Would the developers be that cruel to hide an important item in one of these pipes? I don't think so. I do think, though, that they'd probably hide some, like... Damn it. It, 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 it wouldn't be beyond them to hide some laudanum, or oil, or a tinderbox in one of them, though. How much oil do I have left? God dang it. Almost out. Using up so much of it. Nope. Okay. Next one. I've already checked all of these cells. But... Now, I'm checking them for something additional. Oh, what's this? Is this... Oh, okay, it looked like it was about to be broken. I thought maybe I could do something with it. Nope, nothing in there. Alright, and last one. Nothing in there. But there is a noise. Oh. What's that mean? I can hear a noise, it's sort of like wind blowing or water rushing, or maybe that's the sound of machinery turning. I don't know what that's for. It wasn't in any of the others, was it? I don't think so. Nope. 
obviously it's impossible to be 100% sure unless I go back and check every single one again. I will check the other ones on this side, though. Nope. Don't hear anything. Don't hear anything. Okay. So it seems only that one cell has that weird noise in it. I'm gonna assume that's, uh, significant for one reason or another. And I think it's all such filth, he thought. Good men can safely cheer their departure as they are nothing but a burden to mankind. They shall not be missed. These, uh... These two recent uh, loading screen things we've gotten must be from Alexander. Because <laughs> he's the only one I can think of who would be uh, shunning good men, as he puts it. Anyway, I guess maybe there's something back out here that I missed. I don't really wish I had some clue what the machine did. The only the only uh, idea I have is that since it's connected to those pipes, it probably has something to do with opening the doors. Um, that was a dead end. Like, literally. That one was also a dead end until we can get the orb. This is the only one that was... A dead end, but it had the gate. So the gate may be working now that we did the thing with the machine, or something about it. Also, what item did we pick up? We picked up a... right, it was a bucket of tar. Hold up, we don't have to combine these two, do we? No, okay. <laughs> that would have been something else. Just cover the meat in tar. There you go, there's your puzzle solution. Can't interact with any of these, can we? Nope. Okay. What's this thing? Turn it around. Delirium Cheminant Buturi Applicambus. Okay. Cool. Oh, hey, there's a thing up there. Damn it. Damn it. Alright. Pull the box down. There you go. Yeah, I got a tinder box. Sweet. Hey, as long as we're finding something, we're progressing, right? That's how I define progression. Alright, all right. I don't think there's anything else going to be in here. But this door... No, we don't need it because of the light right there. This door isn't operated by the machinery. It's, uh... It's just latched shut. So then, what the hell? We already tried the hammer and chisel on it. We I think we tried all of this, actually. This is ridiculous. I don't think it's too far of a stretch to imagine that the gear we repaired has something to do with the stuff in here. Because if nothing else, what else could it be for? There's no other... I mean, there's those two doors. Um, took another look down here. I really... I'm running out of ideas. Did I... Did I try the, like, hammer and chisel... on the wooden planks at the end of that hallway? I don't think I did. I'll go try that next, I guess. Oh, wait! Oh, I just remembered. There's also, um... Back up at the top of the circular staircase. There's also... There was a machine of some kind that wasn't running yet. 
The thick liquid spread across his tongue. He swallowed excessively to consume every drop. He looked through the window at the widespread forest and the morning sun. Will this ever end, he thought. Yeah, I don't remember what it was. I think it was just a couple of lovers. But there was a machine that wasn't running. Maybe... And it's even in this direction. Shut up. So maybe fixing those gears made that machine start working. I'll go try that. After doing this. Hammer and chisel. Nope. Okay. Got it. Getting caught on the rocks. Yeesh. Kind of surprised that uh, so far we haven't seen any enemies in any of these areas. Not that I'm complaining. The less enemies, the better. Frankly, if this game had no enemies in it whatsoever and no chance of death, I'd be fine. I'd be okay with that. The atmosphere is what I like horror games for. The spooky atmosphere. Okay, so these things. I knew it. Awesome. Oh, and this got a few more drops of oil in it. Do these things refill over time? Because I already used this. I know for a fact I did. Oh, you know what I bet these did? I bet these raised up those two big doors. I had to repair the gear and then flip the switches. And that brought the doors up. Okay, cool. For once, we completed a puzzle and, uh... Daniel, you have gone too far. I have to stop you. I can't let you proceed any further. I'm sorry, my friend. Oh, boy. I was about to say, we completed a puzzle and a monster didn't appear. It seems something even worse just happened. Because now we've gone and angered Alexander. You okay, Agrippa? You hanging in there? You got the doors open? Good going. I knew you could do it. Yep, thanks. You didn't, uh, help me at all. Didn't, uh, didn't really do much of anything except give me a lower dump and annoy me constantly. Okay, so. That. Alright, well, that has light. So, let's go down here first. Okay. The hell? Okay. So we can lower the rope down into the well. I'm guessing we don't want to go down there. Can we interact with the rope at all? No? Doesn't look like it. It sounds like there's something down there. Oh boy. How many tinder boxes do I have? 13, 6 things of oil. Okay. <sighs> Alright. I, I have a weird feeling about this. I. Are we, are we, it wouldn't expect us to climb the rope down there, would it? No. Still can't interact with it. Okay. Alright. Let's, uh, go peek at the other end of this. Help her. Find 
Okay. Pipe going in here. Pipe goes back to the door. That's that's the same pipe that was going through the door, wasn't it? Transept. Okay, that's a loading thing. Let's see what's down the other direction. Mm hmm. Thanks, Agrippa. Oh boy. So many options. So many places to go. I'm guessing that's probably going to be another loading, loading door. Okay. Let's just see. I'm not going to go through it, just want to check. Yep, choir entrance. Okay. Turn on. Light up a light. Get some laudanum. Look around for other items like a tinder box to replace the one we just used. Very nice. Very good. Thank you, game. Jump up over the books. Check behind the desk. Nope. Okay. I do like how uh, items sort of glow in the dark. Not Probably not an intended effect. It's just uh, probably a side effect from the fact that the items all sort of glow slightly to let you know you can interact with them. But they glow enough that uh, they actually stand out when they're in the darkness. Okay, let's read this note. A gripple channels fire. Vire taunts me from the other side. I trusted him with my true reason for my efforts, and still he insists on me releasing Agrippa. How an enlightened man can show such lack of compassion in a seat of power disgusts me. I can't bring myself to part from Agrippa, as he, as he is and has been for centuries my only link to the worlds beyond. Vire claims he tries his best to release me from my banishment, but that he needs me to give him Agrippa first so he too can help. If he could guarantee success, I would happily oblige, but how am I to part with, from him if my return might be denied? I know what they are capable of. I have seen their deception. Optimism is a most hopeless feeling, but I must retain it. I shall prepare for his release. To release Agrippa without killing him, Vire told me to feed him a tonic made from a paralyzer, vitae, and tamter. The poisonous fungi should work as a paralyzer if I can find the internal gland from a large specimen. The choir seems to be a fertile grounds for this sort. It should then be able to extract its contents with the proper tools. The vitae could be extracted as usual from any agonized human victim's blood. I just need large amounts to, distil to distill it properly. Remember to collect this during the next torture session. Tempter, on the other hand, will prove more difficult. I don't think it exists in this world. Simply writing the word with these letters looks wrong. Not really. Maybe it's a little awkward to pronounce, but... Eh. I believe it's a property of the secretion in the water-dwelling Karenk. I will have to address Vire with this, as he will have to supply me with a host. Also, a properly prepared well should suffice to contain it. Oh, like the well with the rope hanging over it? So we need to go to the choir to get uh, the poisonous fungi sample. The choir is right out the door behind us. Um, the vitae uh, would be extracted from the blood of a torture victim, and I think the torture victims... Well, actually, wait a minute, no, it was... Transept was the name of the other word? Er, not name of the other word, I'm sorry. Name of the other area that was at the other end, behind the other big door. I don't know what transept means. If it means place where people got tortured, then that's where we'll find that, most likely. And, uh, need to do something with that well. Because he says, uh, he had to supply him with a host of the secretion of water dwelling Karak. Wait, I believe it's a property of the secretion in the water dwelling Karak. Okay, the first time I read that, I thought Karak was an area from another dimension, like another planet or something like that. And what he was talking about was the water on that other planet has Tamter in it. But actually, I think... Because I remember, uh, I did briefly look up the names of some of the enemies um, 
and the Karenk, I think, is the name of the invisible monster that uh, is always in water. When whenever we've seen it, the uh, you know the first one was in the like wine cellar area or whatever, and the second one was in the sewers. And uh, we did hear something splashing around in the water at the bottom of the well. I think Karenk is the name of that enemy. And it seems that some type of creature that uh, lives in water. So, just wire, but this is you have to spy with the host. So, Vire gave some Karenks to, uh, to Alexander for the purpose of Alexander somehow... Yeah, he could trap it in a well and then use that to get a sample of tamter from it and i guess so i guess karenks are an otherworldly creature that actually comes from another dimension one of if not the dimension that uh vire went to because i i think it's been implied that vire when he sort of like transcended his physical body he could just travel around anywhere to any number of universes um i assume he didn't just go to a single other universe so i guess the kank comes from some planet or some universe in a different place um and that's that's actually i find that a really interesting detail because the uh the other things that we fought so far the like servants those were the actual th those were like people that alexander experimented on and uh or at least some of them were and i think some of them were golems he created from like the body parts of, of people or whatever and so uh, i just kind of assumed that's what all of the monsters were the servants and the kank here and everything like that i assumed those are all just experiments of alexander's but it appears that the kank is actually an otherworldly creature so that's a really cool detail and that is a detail that we will have to explore further when we come back for the next episode, because I'm all out of time for this one, unfortunately. I hope you've all enjoyed it. hope you all continue to enjoy it. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.